Ibn Khaldun was a renowned Arab historian, philosopher, and social scientist born in Tunis in 1332 CE. He was a polymath, excelling in a variety of fields such as law, sociology, economics, and politics. Ibn Khaldun's extensive knowledge and astute observations of human behavior led to his development of a unique perspective on society, which he detailed in his renowned book, The Muqaddimah. Ibn Khaldun's father was a prominent member of the Andalusian royal family who fled to Tunis after the Christian conquest of Spain. Despite being born into a privileged family, Ibn Khaldun had a difficult childhood. He lost his parents at a young age and was raised by his relatives. However, he had an insatiable thirst for knowledge and was highly motivated to succeed academically. At a young age, Ibn Khaldun began his education in Tunis, where he studied Islamic jurisprudence and Arabic grammar. He then continued his education in Fez, where he excelled in his studies and earned a reputation as a prodigy. His academic prowess led to a promising political career, and he was appointed as the Secretary of State for the Sultan of Granada. However, Ibn Khaldun's political career was short-lived, and he soon became disillusioned with the corrupt nature of politics. He retreated to the remote town of Khalat ibn Salama, where he began to write his magnum opus, the Muqaddimah. The Muqaddimah is a comprehensive introduction to history, philosophy, sociology, and economics. It is considered one of the most important works in the field of social sciences and is credited with laying the foundation for the modern study of history. Ibn Khaldun's work was groundbreaking because he recognized the cyclical nature of history and the fact that societies tend to follow predictable patterns. One of the most significant contributions of Ibn Khaldun was his theory of asabiyya. He argued that societies are held together by a sense of solidarity, which he called asabiyya. Asabiyya is a social cohesion that comes from shared beliefs, values, and customs. According to Ibn Khaldun, Asabiyya is the driving force behind the rise and fall of civilizations. Ibn Khaldun believed that societies go through three stages, the stage of nomadism, the stage of sedentary life, and the stage of decadence. He argued that the first stage is characterized by a strong sense of Asabiyya and tribal unity. As societies become more sedentary and complex, the sense of Asabiyya weakens, leading to a decline in the society's cohesion. In the final stage, societies become corrupt and decadent, leading to their eventual collapse. Another important concept introduced by Ibn Khaldun was the idea of Umran, which refers to the process of civilization. Umran is a gradual process that leads to the development of a more complex society. Ibn Khaldun believed that Umran is driven by the pursuit of economic prosperity which leads to the development of trade, manufacturing, and urbanization. Ibn Khaldun's work had a significant impact on subsequent generations of thinkers. His theory of Asabiyya influenced the development of the concept of nationalism, which emerged in Europe during the 19th century. His concept of Umran is also relevant to modern discussions on economic development and urbanization. In addition to his contributions to social sciences, Ibn Khaldun was also a respected historian. He wrote a comprehensive history of the Muslim world, which covered the period from the time of Adam to the end of the 14th century. His work was praised for its attention to detail and its objective approach to history, which was rare in his time. Ibn Khaldun's influence can be seen in the works of many subsequent thinkers, including Max Weber and Arnold Toynbee. His ideas on the cyclical nature of history and the importance of social cohesion have become fundamental concepts in the study of sociology and history. Despite his many achievements, Ibn Khaldun faced significant challenges in his life. He struggled with poverty and was often forced to rely on the support of patrons to continue his work. He also faced significant political upheaval, including the fall of the Muslim dynasty in Granada, which led to his exile. Despite these challenges, Ibn Khaldun remained dedicated to his work and continued to write and teach until his death in 1406 CE. His legacy lives on through his extensive body of work and his contributions to the field of social sciences.